Welcome back to this plotting series. In this video, we're going to cover subplots. Basically, yeah, we like that we can put multiple plots on one single figure, but what if we want to separate and plot these lines side by side? We'll look at doing this with two separate figures, and then also look at doing this with a subplot. One thing that plot does for us automatically is it creates a figure for us. But there's also a command in MATLAB to make a new figure, like this. And MATLAB will auto-increment this figure to figure 2, because we're already using figure 1. Now after you call the figure command, anything that you do, like title, for example, will show up on that most recent figure. And hence we have hello as the title on figure 2. Let's use this knowledge to make two separate figures to start. I'll call figure up here, and then instead of hold on, I'm just going to call figure again. And then MATLAB will plot this second portion on a new figure. Let's run this, and we see that we have figure one and figure two. But we've kind of lost some elements in between, right? This is because our X label and Y label and the title are only under the first plot. When we did the second plot, we only included the legend. So you need to make sure you include all those elements that you want on both graphs after the figure commands. Here we have two nice side-by-side -side graphs. You can keep doing this with figures. Also, if you want, you can specify a specific number that you want a figure to have. So this will automatically increment if you just do figure, and this will assign it to figure 5. Here's figure 1, and then figure 5. Up to you. Again, MATLAB will just keep creating new figures for you, and then your plots and anything that follows will go on the preceding figure that you've called out. To do subplots, we're going to put this on one figure so we don't need a second figure command. Instead, we're going to add a subplot command. And the subplot command takes three arguments. It's going to take the number of rows and columns that you want in your subplot. Basically, if you want to make a 2x2 two two grid of plots, or a 3x2 grid of plots, right now we just want two side by side, so we'll do a one row by two columns which would be side-by-side -side plots. And then the next argument is going to be the place that you want to put the plot you're about to put on there. So I'll put this in the first place, which would be on the left side. Basically in position 1, 1, the first row in the first column. To add the second subplot here, I'm going to do 2 because this will go in the second row, excuse me, the first row, second column. This is easily evidenced here when we plot this. So you can think of this as a one by two matrix, one row by two columns, and the black we specified in line seven as being in the first position, which is in the left, and then we specified in line 14, the blue, in the second position, which is on the right. This is nice because we have two separate plots in one figure element. And these then are easily viewable side by side. They scale together. If you copy this, you can later use them together. It is a better side by side evaluator than just making two separate figures as we did before. You can get even more advanced with your subplots by doing a couple clever tricks. The first one, let's just go ahead and use the same plots here for ease. Let's say we want to make this a 2x2. Two two. So we're going to do these just plots right after the other. So we're going to have four plots on this one figure. And we need subplot commands before each of them. But now we have to change this to 2x2. Two two. And then this information will go in the first spot. This also has to be 2x2. Two two. This information will go in the second spot. Continuing on, we need to add a subplot command, 2x2, two two, and then this one will go in the third spot. 
The third spot would be the second row, first column. And you'll see this momentarily. Let's change this title so we can tell. Third spot. Another subplot command, two by two, and then the fourth spot. So what needs to say the same? The first two arguments of these subplot commands must be the same. And then you're changing the positions of the information. This goes in the second spot. This goes in the third spot. And that allows you to identify the areas on the plot. Here we have the four subplots now side by side in a two by two. First spot top left, second spot top right, third spot bottom left, fourth spot bottom right. And I'm clearly missing a grid on command here at the very end as well. You may be noticing that we're taking up a lot of space in our editor right now, and it's kind of ugly. Really easy way to reduce these, just put comma between these commands. And that saves you a lot of space. Go ahead and do that for your other items as well. Here we have our code cleaned up. You can easily tell that we're plotting things on one figure, specifying the subplot, then the plotting command, and then we're adding all the extra information for each plot. This is a very clean approach to doing your subplots. One more thing I want to show you, you can also make one of these plots stretch across two of the sections. Let's say we want one plot to go across spots three and four. To do this, well, we firstly are not going to need one of the subplots because we're only plotting three things. I'm going to go ahead and give this three and four. We do that, and now this bottom plot fills in spots three and four. You give it three and four in a matrix because we're going across the third and the fourth spot. You could do a similar approach by plotting something vertically. Let's say I want this in the one and third spot. We'll put this in the second spot and this in the fourth spot. Here we see our tall plot filling up spots one and three, and then the individual plots in sections two and four. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subplots are an awesome way to really identify and section out the way you create these figures. You can also create separate figures for showing things that aren't quite as related. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video in the series.